So let's get some cleaning up done. And I can't do that until it stopped. Okay. So uh, before we did uh, in the item bound, where um, we did the well, let me think about this. The item bound, where where the actual items get bound to the grid, that happens pretty much at runtime in uh, in the grid of in the grid itself. Um, and it does that because we have the data items mapped directly in the ASP code. So there's no there's no chance in we don't have to go through and, and see that check active actually is mapped to a field called data flag and and uh, address line one really is by the way address line one that's been all done in the ASPX. But now we've got something a little trickier. You've got controls that are inside of controls. You've got grids and then you have text boxes that are in those grids. So even though even though you're in, let's say, a uh, good example, let's say address line one, it really is a, a rad text box address line one. If I take this control and I bring it over to the back end and I try to look at it through IntelliSense, it, the, you can't find it because that control does not exist in the context of the outside container. You got to find it. You got to run a find command to find that that uh, that control. So I have uh, the grid object. I added an on update command. So whenever an update command happens or is sensed, it's going to fire this method. Okay, so this method passes over an, a grid command event arc, so E. And that E can be cast a bunch of different ways. I cast as an E uh, grid editable item. Let's put a space or two between this and the rest. Okay. So my store procedure is looking for a few different elements. E address ID, I'm sorry, I address ID, um, address line one, two, and three, city, state, zip, zip four, excuse me, zip four, and the active flag. The actual call to this store procedure is right here. So let's go through one by one. This is the key field. Address ID is going to be the key field coming from the owner table view, data key names, address ID and this comes from in the grid under master table view somewhere around here master table view grid key names address ID that's how I got to here so there's no control there's no real control for address ID it's not even a hidden field it's just part of the data key names so that one can be addressed directly the next one's a little trickier so let's let's start with uh, street address one. I have to declare a variable called address line one and what I'm doing is this e edited item was a cast was cast from an editable item. Find controls and method with that. Find the control that rtxt address line one corresponds to rtxt address line one. That's how you find a control inside of a control. If it was a nest, even further nesting, if it was a control and a control control, you would see find control and then in brackets uh, another instance of the control, find control, you get the idea. So this will look inside of a, of a known control and find the control you're trying to find. Then what I'm doing is I have an as rad text box at the end. So it, it finds it. It finds it when, it, when it returns it from here, it returns as an object, so you lose all your your automatic properties. I'm recasting it back as a red text box. And then I'm um, pulling the text method out and set and setting or calling the two string method. So this line of code will pull out that address line one, cast it as a red text box, pull out the text, and then convert it to string and then set it to address line one. The same essential thing happens for two, three, city. State's a little bit different. State, I've got to do the same find control, but instead of casting it as a text box, I can implicitly cast it as a drop down. And I call that a drop down. Drop down RDD state. I find the control, that's the control name for state. Zip, it's another, it's a convert. This is actually a little. Um, Best, uh, best of both worlds here, I guess. 
convert to int 32. So this is this is going to convert whatever is in here into an integer, 32-bit integer. And um, very cool. So this next bit, uh, a little bit of a workaround. So the, the 32, I'm sorry, string 4, zip 4, can potentially be negative or null, no, no, blank. When these are blank, convert to I, in 32 doesn't work very well. So I had to do some finagling to get this to work. So it's saying if if it's empty, then it's null, and otherwise, then try to do the conversion. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it than this, but this is where I landed on uh, now. Last thing is a checkbox for active flag. I implicitly cast a checkbox and do a find item to find check active update. So I have all the pieces that I need in hand to do the update and to call the update method. The update method is called for the BLL, goes to DAL, goes to the EDMX, and, com and completes the update. All right, so let's take a look at what we got. Whew. The updates are a pain. The uh, the other ones aren't too bad. In other words, a delete. There's, there's usually pieces of cake because all you're doing is sending the key value. Updates are troublesome, I guess you could say. Oh, don't like something. So, uh, it does not have a definition for grid address item command. Okay, so what I did was I got rid of a um, I got rid of a method call on the back end, and in the grid itself, it's still sitting there. So, yeah, so this guy can go away. All right, try that again. Close that. Second. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, easy way, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's start with the second one. Four, five, six, Hardway, one, two, three, Wilmington, Delaware, and so forth, right? Apartment two. Apartment two, give it an update. Now, I have it going through breakpoints, so it didn't fail, it's just going through breakpoints, and I can see it's setting each individual portion of what needs to be done and I'll I'll wave over them in a second and I'll show you their values so everything is set here we go so dress line one dress line two three four city zip awesome all this stuff's cool then it comes in to the BLL and then we're gonna hit the DAL Done, turn, done, updated. Let me take off the breakpoint so we can see uh, breakpoints. Okay. So I'll take this, get rid of address line three, update, Let's see what happens. Address line three is updated. Go to here, get rid of that. Do an update. It's all good. Let's see if I change for, from PA to Rhode Island. Does it take it? It does. Let's say if I made it from Rhode Island to Texas. Does it take it? It does. Let's say if I try to turn active off. Takes it. So the... Let's see, crud. You've got the create. It's not there. Read, yes, it's there. We're looking at read updates there. Delete is not there. Delete is uh, kind of tricky. Same garbage you have to do. I'll I'll do another store procedure and show you what delete will look like. The insert, that one is a a bit tr could be a bit trickier. Let's see what it looks like. So if I went to the grid. And I uh, went to the split view. They do about half of the work for you. The other half you sort of have to do yourself. So let's 
Let's see where we're at. This is the that's not what I want. That's the Ajax manager thing. I want to see this, I think. Yep. Uh no, I want to open up the configuration wizard. Allow automatic updates. Allow oh I don't want that now, not automatic. I, we're doing it ourselves. There's a button though for um I'm looking right at it, I'm sure. A lot of sorting. Let's filter. Why not sort? Sure. Why not? Multi roll edit. We are going to do multi roll edits, but just not in this exercise. I'm sure there's a there's a way to do the buttons. There it is. Uh, add show add new record button. Cool. Show refresh button. Cool. Uh, let's see what we got. Like all that, I'm not seeing my button now. Let's go back to show header, show footer, uh, 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 styles, no, it's, it's not grouping, client settings, enable skin tone. an easy way of doing this. I guess this is going to be a way different grid now. <laughs> All those different changes. Let's see what we've got. I'm able, able to filter. I've got a footer in the grid. Everything but what I want. They can sort. I don't have them sorted yet. They will be sortable. You can filter. Where's I getting that? I was trying to find. Hmm. All right. 